Hi guys! Today we're going to talk about the concept of the first law of thermodynamics and we will try to make it as simple as possible in order for you to understand it clearly before we proceed to our succeeding topics. Okay, so if you are a follower of our channel, you know that we already discussed about the laws of thermodynamics. So we discussed the differences between the zero law, the first, second, and third law of thermodynamics. So I will be recommending for you to watch this video first before you proceed here in order to have an overview what are the differences between these laws of thermodynamics. But to proceed on this subject, let us have a quick review of what we learned about that. So this is the brief explanation um, taken from our last video. So we learned that the zeroth law of thermodynamics states that if two bodies are each in thermal equilibrium with some third body, then they are also in equilibrium with each other. And we explained that clearly in our previous video how it is done. Then the first law of thermodynamics, uh, we know that this is the law of conservation of energy. The second law of thermodynamics is the entropy of the universe is always increasing. And then the third law of thermodynamics is about the entropy of perfect crystals. And today, we are going to focus on the first law of thermodynamics. So let us begin by explaining what is the first law of thermodynamics. So the first law of thermodynamics is the restatement of the conservation of energy principle. So what do we mean by the law of conservation of energy? It states that energy cannot be created or destroyed but can be transferred into various forms. So it's just basically saying that energy cannot just be suddenly appear or disappear or it cannot be created from nothing or just disappear going to nowhere. So basically, the first law of thermodynamics is a balance of the various forms of energy in the specified thermodynamic system or control volume. The energy balance is maintained within the system. So hindi tayo makakagawa ng energy and we also cannot destroy or eliminate energy. It will just be changing from one form to another. So we are talking about forms of energy. So it's important to understand that there are many types of energy that we have to consider. As you can see from here, energy can be a potential or kinetic energy. It can be thermal energy. Uh, it can be mechanical, sonic, nuclear, gravitational, chemical, electromagnetic, ionization, and more. Okay? And our keynote here is that energy will just be converting from one form to another. So in order to understand that, let us have this illustration. And we used this already from our previous video. We now know about the system and the surroundings. So if you still don't know about this, I would recommend to you the previous video that we posted about the thermodynamic systems and properties. In here, we talk about system and surroundings in more details. Okay, but in here, I'm going to have a quick review about that. So, system is defined as a quantity of matter or a region in a space chosen for study. So, in here, this is our system in which we are considering in our study. And surrounding is the mass of region outside the system. Okay, so as you can see, if this is our system, outside our system is our surrounding. And this dotted line here is our boundary. It is the real or imaginary surface that separates the system from its surrounding. Okay, so now going back to our topic about the first law of thermodynamics, let us consider the system and everything outside our system is our surrounding. And we said that energy cannot be created or destroyed but can be transferred from one to another. So in here, it can be transferred in a form of heat or work. So let's say our surrounding transferred an energy to our system of in a form of heat. And let's say it transferred 500 joules of heat. 
if you're going to look at our system, it means that our system accepted or gained energy from our surrounding. So therefore, our system gained energy. And that energy is what we call internal energy, and which is represented by capital U. So let us try to understand what happens in here. We said that our system accepted energy from our surrounding in a form of heat. Okay, so therefore, our system gained 500 joules of energy. So therefore, there is an increase of energy in our system. And it is written as delta U, which represents the change in internal energy, is equal to plus 500 joules. So it is positive because it gained energy. So our system gained 500 joules of energy from the surrounding. Now, what happened to our surrounding? Since it's given off 500 joule of energy, that means there is a decrease in our energy in our surrounding. So, there is a decrease of 500 joules of energy in our surroundings. So, therefore, there is no energy loss. The energy is just transferred from the surrounding to the system. So, there are 500 joules of energy lost in the surrounding, but at the same time, there is 500 joules of energy gained in our system. So, this is just basically what we mean in first law of thermodynamics. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed but just transferred from one to another or just change its forms. So what do we mean that it is changing from one form to another? So let us have a look at this coal power electric station. So in here, as you can see, we have here a coal as our fuel. And then eventually, it was used in order to produce electricity. Okay, so let us have a look on this one by one in order to understand how the first law of thermodynamics is involved in this coal power electric station. So let us have a look in our boiler. So what is happening here in our boiler, our coal is fed to our boiler. Okay, And then with the use of oxygen and heat, we are able to produce combustion, which is a heat energy. Okay, Using this heat energy, we are able to produce steam from the water above it. Okay, so as you can see here, the steam produced is pushed to the steam turbine. So the steam produced from our boiler rotates the impeller in our steam turbine, which is, as you can see here, my friend, this is a mechanical energy. And up next here in our diagram is the generator. So what is happening here is that our turbine is rotating the generator, which is eventually producing electricity, which is a form of electrical energy. Okay, so as you can see, there are changes in forms of energy. There is no loss of energy, but rather it is being transferred or converted into another form. From heat energy from our boiler, it was converted to mechanical energy in our turbine, and then finally converted into electrical energy in our generator. So as you can see, energy is just transferred from one form to another. So we will be talking more about the first law of thermodynamics in the upcoming videos, and we are also going to solve more problems in order to help you in your studies in thermodynamics. So we will be solving problems from different references. We will be taking problems from thermodynamics books, physical chemistry books, and even reviewers that we can find online and in our mini library here. So we will be choosing problems that we think uh, will be very useful for students in order to understand how to approach different problems in thermodynamics. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na i-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review.
So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.